the survivors and their families, the people in the gallery there. The judge, Jennifer Darrow, also seen wiping tears at times. But when it came time to address Daryl Brooks directly, a different emotion, and with it, a stiff sentence. Daryl Brooks' fate essentially final. This court is imposing a life sentence without the possibility or eligibility for extended supervision consecutive to one another. Six consecutive life sentences for the six people he killed in the Waukesha Christmas Parade. Each conviction for first degree intentional homicide, meaning no chance for parole. Frankly, Mr. Brooks, no one is safe from you. This community can only be safe if you are behind bars. Judge Jennifer Darrow in a three hour address, firm with Brooks, yet emotional, reliving the sounds and images from the trial. Those were images that frankly kept me up at night that I saw over and over and over. She even offered comfort to the brother of the youngest victim who died. How Tucker, somehow blames himself for his brother's death. It's not your fault, Tucker. It's Mr. Brooks's fault. In a two hour statement of his own, Brooks asked for mental health help and a measure of lenience. What happened on November 21st, 2021 was not, not, not an attack. Make no mistake, Mr. Brooks. You use that vehicle as a battering ram. And in addition to the life terms, 766 years and three months in prison, covering the 71 separate guilty verdicts in the case. To order anything other than what I have done, sir, would be to unduly depreciate the seriousness of these offenses. And that additional 766 years is straight confinement in prison. His fate essentially final only because he does have the opportunity to appeal. Uh, and it would be up to an appellate court to decide if this sentence will in fact stand. He has up to 20 days to file that appeal. Daryl Brooks does.